All right, so there's guys out there who are dead broke right now. And they may be in college for a useless major, which they don't even give a shit about, but their parents just forced them into it. And they've had many failed ventures. They've tried to make money maybe through affiliate marketing, marketing or whatever, and they've never quite made any money, right? They've had multiple failed ventures, and they want to provide for their family. This is a big need for them. But they feel like a constant burden because they're living with their parents, and they're not making any money at the moment so they just feel like this burden and they, and, and they want to get out of that feeling right but these guys don't get anywhere whereas there's other guys out there who set a goal they want to make some money they go out and get that goal and they achieve it right i'm going to talk about the difference here specifically i'll talk about the smartest path to 10k in my opinion let's dive into it so i remember sitting in my classroom and i'm sitting there and i'm about three to four months away from graduation and i'm about to graduate with a criminology degree and as I'm sitting there, I realize I don't even want to be a cop, right? Like, I'm not going to act like some tough guy or something like I don't even like conflict. And I didn't want to be doing all the shift work and all this, all the things that come with being a cop, the, the lifestyle stressors, everything. I didn't want to be involved in that, right? So I'm thinking to myself, like, what the hell am I going to do? I'm, I'm a few months away from graduating and basically on my way to becoming a cop, right? And it was at this moment that I signed up for a computer science degree, right? I realized that Money was very important to me. Computer science was obviously a well-paying career. So I signed up for my second degree. And it was very important to me to especially take care of my parents, right? Like money for myself, that's cool and that's obviously important. But in the back of my mind, always, you know, providing for my family, providing for my parents, making sure my parents have enough money when they get into retirement because I'm an immigrant kid, right? So my parents came here, they've worked, um, they had different jobs, but they haven't had like a long work history of like 30, 40 years here where they have like a comfortable pension or something like this, right? So I want to take that responsibility, make sure they're comfortable when they're retired. So I signed up for computer science and that was my hope that that would pan out and that would end up making me a lot of money. And this right here, whether it be coding or whether it be something else, but this right here, I believe is the smartest path to making a lot of money right now. Now I know there's going to be people who disagree. It's going to be like, oh, college is a scam, bro. I signed up for Hustler University, bro. I signed up for Swag University. Uh, uh, this person told me to do affiliate marketing, bro. That's how I'm going to make money, bro. I'm an entrepreneur, bro. Like take that thought throw way out the window, man. We don't listen to those people. They put a train of thought on us that doesn't serve us whatsoever. Look, I'm not saying that entrepreneurship and all that is not a valid choice. But I'm tired of the disrespect that's constantly put on college with this new social media entrepreneurship way where it's like everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. And it's like even that, again, entrepreneurship is cool. But the fact is, a lot of these guys are fakes. They're phonies, right? They're selling all these scam. Oh, buy my course with useless information that you can find on the Internet for free anyway. Right? Like it's just a lot of BS. And then they say college is a scam. Whereas we can see that if you go to the right major and such in college, Right, of course, luck and those things are involved. I'm not going to deny that. You can earn, or you can learn in high, a high income skill, and earn good money. Right, so that's the smartest way path, uh, smartest path forward, in my opinion. I signed up for a computer science degree, grinded at that, and in about a year and a half, I went from dead broke, and I had a six figure job offer on the table. Right, so that was my journey. Now, another thing I remember is I was walking to this brewery. Right, I was meeting up with this friend. And this friend works at Amazon. So we're talking, we grab a drink, we sit down. And I ask him, okay, so he's a software engineer, by the way. So I asked him, okay, realistically, tell me how many hours do you work in a day? And he says, oh, about four hours. And this guy's earning like 160000 right? With only, he, he's about my age, tw around 26, 27. And he has like maybe three to four years of experience. or so somewhere between two to four, I don't remember exactly. Right? The point I'm making is I know... A lot, a lot of you have dreams of entrepreneurship and all this. And again, that's cool, right? We're wanting to get the best out of life, all that. I'm with that 100%. The point I'm making is, especially with something like coding, right? If you get into the right organization that works with, your, with what you're trying to go for, you can have a lot of free time in your day, right? This guy was working from home. He's working for four hours. He basically has the rest of the day to pursue like any entrepreneur, entrepreneurial, I can't even say the word, you know what I mean, business ventures, all that, right? He's got the rest of the day to do that. And I know some people who work from home, make good money and work even less than four hours, right? So that's the point I'm making with getting into a career like computer science, well, like coding or something like this. 
right? You can have your money, you can have your cake and eat it too. Of course, you have to grind first to get to that position. But once you're in that position, you can have free time for the rest of the day to start branching out and also have a secure paycheck, right? Now, I know um, there's going to be people out there who are going to say, oh, and not everyone's built for this, bro. You, you, got, you got to be a genius, bro. Oh, oh, you're giving bad advice, bro. Oh, only only small percentage of people will make it, bro. Oh, 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 you're giving bad advice. Like, take that thought, throw away out the window, man. We don't listen to those people. Again, they put a train of thought on us that doesn't serve us whatsoever. Look, I'm not denying that there's luck in all these things involved, right? But again, to, to act like college is a scam or learning these high income skills is a scam is ridiculous, right? I'd love to see the statistics. In fact, I have seen the statistics and every single statistics that I've seen show that people with a college degree on average make more money, right? And I'd be willing to bet my ass, like despite all these uh, tech, um, uh, you know, kind of struggles we're having right now with layoffs and all that, I'd be willing to bet my ass that people who grinded in tech are still making more than people who, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up for Hustlers University, bro. Like, yeah, all right, bro. So another thing, uh, I want I want to point out, right? It's now that I'm able to again. I had to work for this. I'm not trying to sell this like some get rich quick scheme. It's far from that. It's hard work, right? I was able to. I'm actually seeing this girl right now, right? And before even going on a date, like a basic date, like say it's like a, 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 a I don't know, like grabbing a drink or something. I had to like double check my bank account three times, right? But now I just made a reservation for a restaurant with a nice ass view, and I didn't even think twice about it. Right. So look, you can if you if you grind, you put in the work. Right. I'm not necessarily saying has to be coding. Like it, it could be a bunch of things. Right. But learning a high income skill, learn that. Put in the work. It will pay off. You have the money to enjoy your life like you always want to. You have the money. Because again, if you're anything like me, you probably had similar um dreams. Right. You wanna enjoy your life, you wanna go out, party, maybe you haven't got a chance to do that, because I never did. Right, I was never like the cool kid throughout elementary school, high school, college, whatever. Right, and I was always trying to scratch that itch. So I was like, oh, I want to make a lot of money, and and now I care about the materialistic things a little bit less. I still like them quite a bit, but I care about them a little bit less. Um, but you know, I've I've been able to do that. I've been able to enjoy my life, and also been able to provide for my parents uh, and these things. Right, and that feels damn good. That feels damn good. Now, I just want to end this video off by saying, hey, be kind to yourself throughout this process as well. Look. When I was touching on the previous, you know, people saying, oh, uh, you're, you're not smart enough. You're not, you're not built for this. That was basically what I went through because I had failed multiple high school courses. I didn't even graduate high school on time, right? I failed a college course. I was a super average college student. So the whole time when I was kind of trying to come up in the tech industry, seeing posts like this, like, oh, uh, 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 just give up, bro. This is, this is a fuel for geniuses, bro. Like seeing posts like these demotivated me all the damn time. Right. I worked my tail off. I still got and I got to the position where I am now. But I want to be I want to be the positive voice in the community who, who can push other people. If you have similar dreams, you want to get into this industry, you want to make the money, who can push people in that direction rather than discouraging them. Right. I'm not saying it's a perfect world like layoffs happen, all that stuff happens. I'm not saying that. Right. But there is room for a lot of people. And I'm 100 percent confident. If you put in the hard work, you can succeed. I had all the feelings of not feeling smart enough, not feel, like feeling stupid. Bro, I would literally, I should you not, I would look at how much IQ you need to have to be a software engineer. And then I would take like IQ tests at like 2 a.m. To, to see if I, if I was smart enough to do it. I had so much doubt in my mind. I, it, 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 like time after time again, I, I truly, a big part of me truly didn't think I would be able to do it. But hard work pays off. This will be no exception. Keep working hard, all right? I believe in you. But what I believe doesn't matter. What you believe matters. So I hope you believe in yourself too. And I just want you to imagine for a second. Imagine you take this advice, you run with it, right? And you learn some high income skill. You put in the work. And how long it takes, no one can predict that, right? Some people may get a lucky break. They get hired real quickly in three to six months. Other people, it takes a lot longer, right? But in due time, you put in the hard work. It pays off and I want you to truly imagine you're in that position you always wanted to be. You're able to provide for your parents. You're able to enjoy life by the things you wanted to, right? And now you have the money. Maybe, again, if you have those entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial I still can't say the word, business dreams, right? You can, you, now you have some money to invest into that and pursue that on the side. And maybe that'll take off and then that'll be your main source of income, right? Imagine that. 
And that's the path you're on. Hey, keep working hard. I believe in you. But what I believe doesn't matter. What you believe matters. So I hope you believe in yourself too. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Ultimately, I want this to be our positive little community where we help each other, support each other, and help each other get to the next level in life. So please come join the community. I'll leave my Instagram, TikTok in the description, also somewhere here. Please do support there as well. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Just to be transparent with what I'm trying to do here, I do want to start making money from this. So it's not me just yelling at a camera for what's been 10 minutes now. And I can hire an editor and they can, uh, you know, make this uh, video all cool and such for me. Uh, so please do like, comment, subscribe, support. All that support will help me make money to pump back into this channel and, uh, you know, make more quality content. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.